Hey filmmakers, a piece of gear just arrived in the mail today and I'm super excited. All right, not bad. Get the other package opened up here. And these are all parts from Small Rig. They didn't send me any of these, I bought them myself. As soon as I saw this new top handle, released i was like oh that's epic i gotta get that so it's still in pre-order you have to order it directly from china can't get it uh, on amazon right now but this little monitor mount part i did buy on amazon sick okay so this piece actually connects up to the monitor right here oh look at that super solid connection it looks like it was made for it, it was born to do this perfect little piece ah i love it i know i'm geeking out over this but it is gonna look so good on the rig let's get it rigged out now so we're gonna get this rigged out on my sony a7s get a new top handle on there now i've been using this one which is very similar but you can see that top handle is way way bigger and it just leaves a lot of space here that i don't need and it actually ends up hitting my v-mount battery when it is right there so it's too close I like how small and minimal this is, low to the camera, which means that center of gravity is gonna be better. And this actual monitor mount part is pretty much the same, but the mount is different. This has the standard Erie pins on it, and then this just uses two bolts. And I love the bolt on because I know that the handle is gonna be very, very secure on my rig because it gets heavy. It gets up to like probably 10, 12 pounds when I have it fully rigged out. And so I like knowing that if I'm gonna lift up from just the handle and have my entire rig resting on that, you know, dangling from this handle, I want it to be a solid connection. That's why I don't like the NATO rails because I've heard a lot of reviews saying that the NATO rail has a little bit of give when you pick it up and that's just too weak for me. Just even looking at these side by side, you can see this little new one is just Ah, it's so compact and tight. Whoa, dropping it. And it actually comes with a little Allen key for it. And that, oh, that snapped in nice. It must be magnetic. That's cool. So you can pop this Allen key out. Let's see if we can get it to pop back out. There we go. Yeah, definitely magnetic. Watch it'll kind of click in. Oh, that's tight. Okay, so that's nice because you you know you're never gonna lose that Allen key, you always have one on you. Boom, and then pop that Allen key back in the side. Click, love that magnet. Ooh, solid, I like it. Oh, that's nice, look how small it is. Much smaller footprint. Doesn't stick off too high, doesn't stick out too long. And then the monitor mounting directly in front is gonna look so good. I'm gonna put the small HD on there. I just made a whole video comparing the Ninja V versus the Focus. Definitely check that out if you haven't watched it already, but let's get the small HD on there because this is gonna look really clean. And you know, I call this the red monitor setup because the reds have this little top handle and then they have, you know, their proprietary red monitor on top goes right in front and it just looks so good and clean. Look at that. Woo! That looks nice. I'm very, very impressed and happy with that. Now we're talking and of course you can hold it like this, put a finger in the front, gives you a little more stability, tilt the monitor wherever you want it to go. You're doing run and gun low angle, put the monitor flat, tilt it straight up, no wiggling, no no jiggling or anything like that because this connection is solid. This monitor connection is solid. The whole thing is so solid and clean. If you can't tell, I'm super excited about this rig. This setup is like what I've been dreaming about for years. Thank you, Small Rig, for finally making a good top handle. I did really like this top handle because it bolted on and I figured out a way to pretty much jerry-rig this little monitor mount on the front of it with some different screws. And it worked, but it has a little bit of shake to it and it's just too big, sticks up too high, too long. 
this doesn't stick up high, doesn't stick out far, bolts on nice. The monitor mount is perfect on there. This is the perfect cinema rig top handle. I'm telling you guys right now, go pre-order it because that's all you can do. And I thought, oh, pre-order meant, hey, this is gonna take like a month or two to get here. That's not the case. I did message them on Facebook first before ordering it and was like, hey, does pre-orders mean that like, you're just taking orders and eventually you're gonna make them? They're like, no, they're shipping now. And I was like, are you sure? Pre-order means something different to me than I think it does to you. You can get some really great footage completely handheld with just the camera, a nice lens, top handle, and a monitor. Just like this, you can get awesome stuff. I'm really loving this already. Thankful to say goodbye to this. Well, maybe not so much goodbye. I might put it on this camera right here and make a new rig for my a6500. Stick around and see. So hit subscribe right now. I have a ton more videos coming out on rigging up your camera, editing, lighting, all that kind of stuff. And hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video because for whatever reason, YouTube doesn't like to show you guys my new videos when they come out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.